Hello, welcome to Live Doctors. Today we are have the pleasure of listening to Professor Raphael Meshulam, who is Professor of Medicinal Chemistry at the Hebrew University in Jerusalem, Israel. Born in Bulgaria, Professor Meshulam graduated in biochemistry from the Hebrew University. He has been Professor of Medicinal Chemistry since 1972 and his specialty is the use of cannabis in medical treatment. Throughout history, man has used plants and their chemicals for medical care. Fifty years ago, Professor Meshulam isolated and made the main active ingredient of cannabis, THC. Hello. Hello. If you can give us some idea of 50 years the last 50 years, in a nutshell, what you've been doing. Well, we started our work, as you say, 50, even more, yeah. years ago on cannabis. I'm a natural products chemist. I work with natural products. Yeah. And I was looking for uh, natural products that have not been well evaluated and may possibly used as uh, drugs or for uh, biological purposes. And I was surprised to find out that whi while morphine had been isolated from opium 150 years previously and cocaine had been isolated from coca leaves 100 years previously <coughs> cannabis uh, the active compound in cannabis had never been isolated in pure form people had tried that some excellent chemists had worked on that in the 30s uh, lord todd in england had worked on that he got a nobel prize in on uh, something else and uh, people in the u.s worked but the techniques apparently were not good enough. And while they knew more or less what the active compound or compounds is, they never got a pure compound. And so I thought it's a good idea to try to uh, look at the chemistry. Now, that's not, not a theoretical problem. Uh, if the chemistry is not well known, the active compounds are not available, there can be no pharmacology, no biochemical research, and obviously no clinical research. So it's the first step in a longer uh, um, stairs of research. So that's what we started doing. We got cannabis from the police. <laughs> it turned out that we, were, we broke the law. We didn't know that. Mm -hmm. And the police broke the law. And we should have ended in prison. But um, it uh, we should have Just got... Just as well you didn't. <laughs> well, uh, yes. Well, in a small country, you know, w w the Ministry of Health learned about our work and said, hey, you're breaking the law. Yeah. Now, in the U.S., I may have ended in prison, really. Mm. So I had to go to the Ministry of Health and said, look, I didn't know that you're in charge, not the police. Please forgive me. And they said, okay, don't forget. And since then, when I needed cannabis, I would go to the ministry, drink a cup of coffee with the people there, that happened sometimes to be my ex-students, <laughs> and then take uh, the, the piece of paper that they signed, take it to the police, and the police will give me hashish as much as, as I wanted. And uh, I would take the hashish, at that time I didn't have a car, get onto a bus, and people would start looking, hey, what kind of <laughs> smell do we have here? Anyway, we got the cannabis from the police and started looking at... Uh, uh, the contents of uh, the specific compounds that are present in, uh, in uh, cannabis. And it turned out to be quite a mixture. We found about 12 compounds, uh, even a little bit more, that have more or less the same structure, more or less the same family of compounds. Uh, but today we know that there are about 80 of them. Uh, only two or three are major compounds, but only one turned out to be active. By active, we injected it, or a friend of ours injected it into monkeys and caused them a kind of a, a to lose energy, kind of go to sleep and so on. So we knew that THC is uh, the, on, the, the, uh, the active compound, which is strange because you have about 80 compounds, more or less of the same structure, only one is psychoactive. Right. And um, we published that in 1964. We published uh, on the structure of the, some of the additional compounds. There was very little interest at that time, essentially no interest. Yeah.